Hey guys, Broken Xbox Productions. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Windows 7 look like a Mac. Yeah. Uh, okay. So basically, you're going to have to download a bunch of stuff first. First off, you're going to have to download Rocket Talk. All the links are going to be in the description. But first off, you're going to download Rocket Talk. You just either click on this one or the latest version. After you've downloaded that, install it. And once you've installed it, then you download the leopard skin and that basically makes the the rocket dock look like the leopard skin from Mac uh, once you've downloaded it and it's well you just need to download it you need to go into where you need to go into C program files Rocket Dock skins leopard skin. And it goes well. It just goes in skins. Yeah. Once it's went in there, then you can leave it. After that, and you put it in there, you just this part's optional, but I recommend it if you want it to look like Mac because it has a bunch of icons, which can make it look like Mac. Computer, music, libraries, Skype, AM, all that stuff. Yeah, it doesn't have an icon for everything, but you can pretty much match it to most things most people would use. So, after you've done that, you do the same thing, only you put it in icons instead of skins. Uh, yeah. So, I'll just quickly show you where to put it. Uh, still getting used to this. You want to go to C Drive. Program files. You want to find Rocket Dock, and then you put it in. You put the leopard skin in skins, and the icons in icons. And then, once you've done that, you just Rocket Dock, Dock settings. and then you go to style and here should be as crystal xp and you just change it to mac x oh x x leopard and then you can go to positions change your centering uh, let me just fix that you can set it to run at startup set how big it is for your Correct size. You can pretty much mess around with it where you want it to be. Change it to where how high it is. You can pretty much change it. And once you've put everything on, you just go into Rocket Dock Icon Settings. icons color th color flow and they'll be all there okay so after you've got that done you will download s uh, windows blinds just click on download uh, I'm gonna download it now for the sake of the video just click on that They're gonna need WinRAR for this. Just wait for it to pop up. Save file. Let's save it to documents. Now I'll continue this video once it's finished downloading. Alright, uh, it's finished downloading, so all you need to do now is uh, go to wherever you saved it, I saved it in documents, Windows Blind 7 Public, just run it, and it'll install it, and you agree, yes.
Yes. Yes. And while that's installing, just go to thing and you download Leopard Glass, which gives you this cool thing. And you just download it. I'm not going to download it. Oh, shut up. You download it, and once you've downloaded it, uh, you just minimize it. Wait for this to install. And I'll come back again when it's finished to save some time. Okay, uh, now that this is almost finished, uh, and you have your other, your leopard skin downloaded, all you need to do is run it. The system must be restarted. Uh, I'm not gonna restart it, but you, all you need to do is skin options, install new, you find wherever you saved yours in pictures or wherever, and you select the theme pack, wherever it is. I'm not sure where I saved mine last time, but it's gonna be like theme pack, and once you've selected it, it will say leopard glass. Right here, you just click on it. Uh, little, little windows blinds. Okay, continue. Continue. It'll show up like this. And then you'll have this. The themes on the top. Like that. Well, it hasn't really changed. Uh, da, 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 the system impressor. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't even care about you. Okay, now once you've done that. What the hell's going on? Okay. Da, da, da. Window. And once you've downloaded that, there's only one more thing to install. And that's the finder bar. That's going to be in the description too. And what that does, it adds this up here. And then you just download it you install it and it's gonna install wherever you install it and once you've installed it you just if you, once you've installed it it's not gonna look like this you start it and you run it you file uh, uh, I'm not making this look very good am I no, I'm not. Damn it. Sometimes this is confusing. But just, I'll probably edit this out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm lazy. Okay, computer. Local disk C. Program files. Uh, finder bar. And that's what you're going to start right there. And once you've started it, you need to close all your programs and it'll be up there and it'll not look the same you have to click skin it you click that see how it's changed oh I see if it makes your freaking desktop go like this you have to open it again and do it again continue here okay now like I said, you have to close all your programs. Uh, window. C uh, close inactive windows. And then you just click skin it. It'll skin it and yeah, and if you're like me, you're it'll it'll be fat. So you just click on small icons and you make it small. And it, it's not gonna run at startup like mine is. So to do that, all you gotta do is go to file. Well, actually, you gotta exit it. You gotta go into this menu, uh, all programs. You gotta find startup. and then you right click it 
explore and then new shot shortcut and then you browse and find program files which is in your computer and C drive and uh, once it is once you found it you just click on that and then OK I'm not gonna do it I already have my shortcut there and it then it'll start up like that I always put one down here just in case I need it and um, if you're and to make it look like this all well, it's pretty obvious you just put all your things off your desktop into something like my files in your documents uh, that's what I did and it'll take some used to getting used to it if you're used to PC like me. I'm keep using to go into the start menu. I put all my folders in my music because I'm that awesome. My files, it's all in there. And the only thing you can't move is your recycle bin. And I just hide that behind my clock. No one needs to know about it. And yeah, it's pretty much everything you need to make your P your Windows 7 look like Mac. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, if you need any help, just comment and I'll try my best to help. Uh, thanks for watching. Broken Xbox Productions. I'm Connor.